Hello again and welcome to this series on text manipulation. Now in this video I want to expose you to a kind of powerful module in Python called WordCloud. This is going to be how we make word clouds using nothing but Python. So I'm going to start off in this video by kind of going back through something I did in a previous video on how to remove punctuation. If you haven't watched that, I encourage you to watch that. So the main module that we're going to be working with is a module called WordCloud. If you haven't done so, go ahead and use pip to pip install it. And also pip install matplotlib, and we're just going to be importing string, which comes standard with the Python library. So we're going to do from WordCloud, and we're going to import WordCloud, just like that. We're going to also import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. That's the Pythonic way to do that. That's going to allow us to actually um, uh, reveal our word cloud on an image file or a figure file. And we're going to also import string. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the with operator. So we're going to say with open alice.txt. We're going to be working once again with Alice in Wonderland. And we're going to open this up as f. And within this with operator, we're going to say text equals f.read. And if you don't remember, that's going to allow us to simply read the entire text. But in a word cloud, we need to also remove punctuation so that um, each individual word without punctuation is rendered correctly. Otherwise, uh, it'll interpret, let's say, Alice with a comma as a separate object and Alice without a comma as a separate one as well. We want all the Alices to be rendered equally. So we're going to do words equals text dot split. Now we've split everything up in that text file, but we need to remove that punctuation. We're going to do that by creating the table. That's going to be string dot make trans, and we're going to pass in three arguments, uh, nothing, nothing, and string dot punctuation. And that's going to allow us to simply strip all the punctuation out when we pass this next command, which is going to be stripped equals uh, w dot translate, now we're translating it, we're going to call in table, uh, and we're going to do that for every word in words. And that's going to allow us to actually have everything um, stripped out, and we're going to reassemble everything without punctuation by using the join um, method, and we're going to pass in stripped. So now we should have the entire thing, if we print this off, just to double check, always good to check your work you'll see that we have everything here as one long string. Wonderful. Now we need to start making our word cloud. And in Python, this could not be simpler because of this great module, word cloud. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the Pythonic syntax here, and we're going to create the object of WC. And that's going to be equal to word cloud. And we're going to pass in just some very basic arguments here just to make everything look nicer. We're going to create in a background color, and that's going to be equal to white. And we're going to also <clears throat> include a contour color, and we're going to set that equal to steel blue, because that's what's listed in the word cloud documentation. And that's kind of what most people do when they first come to this. So what we're going to do is we need to generate that, and we're going to do that using the word cloud generate um, function, and we're going to generate assembled, which means we're going to take all of this text, this long string, and generate a word cloud based on just that. Now comes the time to actually map out what we've just assembled. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do plt. So we're calling it matplotlib dot image show I am show, and we're going to pass in the argument of wc, and we're going to do interpolation, and we're going to do that as equal to bilinear. And then what we need to do is we need to plot axis. We'll turn that off. And then we're going to do plot.show. And all this, should, if we've done everything correctly, should give us a word cloud of Alice in Wonderland. And within a split second, you can see that we have just that. Alice, of course, being the number one word, said being next. Um, if you want to eliminate things from this, you can do that as well by simply replacing, or removing certain words that you don't want to see. So if you don't want to see the word said every time, if you don't want to see the word Alice every time, and you want to kind of explore... Um, other words that might be out there, then you can do that. You simply have to use the replace um, method, and we're going to replace Alice with nothing. And now when we run this, we'll notice that the word cloud appears and Alice is now removed. We can do the same thing for the word um, said. 
let's go ahead and get rid of said as well. Now we can see some of the more uh, interesting words that are actually populating now is the word little that comes up with quite, uh, quite a lot of frequency. Uh, cat, we can see here not having a, a large role. Uh, some of the more interesting DH projects using that in Alice in Wonderland have produced word clouds that are much more dynamic. Uh, they are cluster mapped based around chapter. And that's something that you can do with word cloud as well, but that's a whole other video in and of itself. So that's all for now. Thank you for listening.